So Nomad 1.66 is in beta, it's been a while, it's been nearly a year coming, so we used to get updates so regularly that we got spoilt. Um, so it's nice to see this new update and the only one, the only feature that I'm going to focus on in this video is the ability to use the hierarchy in the scene menu. So I'm using it to pose um, this creature that I'm going to make. So let's dive in and have a look at the new scene hierarchy. So this is the beta, uh, this is 1.66 and you can see that down here, um, now got this thing called uh, Hexanomad, so it looks like uh, Stefan's had a bit of a, a name change there or, or I may well have missed that. Um, very, very similar in a lot of ways, there's not a huge amount of overall um, major um, interface changes but there are lots of tweaks that I'll cover over the next few weeks. Um, but the, the, if you're already familiar with Nomad, you, you're going to be pretty, you know, pr pretty happy with what you what you've got here. It won't be much of a change. But the one I'm going to focus on today is uh, in here. So if you look in the scene menu, um, and you've and you've basically got pretty much what you would be used to if you're used to Nomad. So you've got the eye on and off. You've got a way to select it or multiple select with the tick. The name of the model and then um, th th there are some slight changes to the way it's laid out and you've got a, a, a press on here gives you instancing clone and how to rename it and then you've got this thing here um, which basically says about a node and then delete and now the node thing is is important because it gives us what's called a null so let's just work through what what you can do in the scene hierarchy now that you couldn't do before so if i have um, a sphere as the first model and then I bring in something new so to bring in a new model it used to be down here and it's now under add and we'll just put cylinder and we'll just bring that down in size scale it vertically and then validate it so we can use it and then turn perspective off and snap it to the front and then go pivot and I'll just bring the pivot down here now turn that back off now, as you know, with the blue, red and um, green lines, we can move that round. But what is interesting is that we can now stack it in the hierarchy. So if you go back to this and I'll pin it open, you've got sphere and then cylinder. So what I can do is I can drag that cylinder under the sphere, which parents it. Basically, it becomes a child of the sphere. That means if I rotate the sphere, I rotate the cylinder as well. So what does that mean you can do? So if we tap on this end button and hit clone, means I've got two of those cylinders, drag it under, tap and drag it under that cylinder. So we've got a hierarchy of three now. And then if I just drag that one up, I'll, it won't look particularly pretty in this particular case, but it'll show you what, what this does. And the pivot point, what we'll do is we'll just move the pivot point down here. Now what that means, as, as you know, turn pivot back off and you can pivot like this. But now you can also work down the hierarchy as well and you can pivot, you can scale anything down the, 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 the hierarchy. So the rotation is the same um, and then even back all the way up to the top. So that for me is quite useful building characters um, because it means I can leave them and, and, and make them editable. So um, I've only had a few days of, of playing with this, but I've, I've had a quick go um, with, with building a creature. So I'll just quickly load that up and I'll show you where I got to with it. Okay, so this is part of like an insect, uh, obviously a, a mechanical insect, and it shows you um, uh, like basically just cylinders again, just like I've just shown you. So it's got this part here, which is the central, um, uh, let's call it the controller. I don't, I don't know what the right name would be for it, but it's the, it's the chassis, let's say. Um, and then I've got all of these parts coming coming out from here. So if I just take perspective off and snap it, you'll see we've got this one, um, which is this pivot one. I'll put this on like I always do. I'll just put outline on so you can see what it is. And then I've got this and then this and then this. These are all parts. Now what I'd want to do is show you this here. So I've hidden the rest of the creature because we're not interested in that just at the moment. But of all these parts here, what we'd have to do is align all of their pivots correctly so that everything works in the stack. So first of all, we've got this one and I'll just drop the pivot here. And then what we need to do is drop the first leg in, the second, say first leg, the second section of the leg and then the third one. So there's now four parts if you include the base. And what you can do there is you can add in a node so that you're then controlling the node. And that would simply be add, 
node like this. And all that is, it's a point that exists in space, but it doesn't have any geometry. Um, so you could easily move that to the, um, the base area that you want. And then you could put that above that leg, like so. And then you could drop that leg into that node. And that basically just gives you the ability to, an uh, to, not to animate, to move that node around. And then everything under that stack will move with it. Um, so I think as I get more complex scenes made, I think that that might well be something that I do more of. So let's just snap it back. Um, and then we'll go first leg is, is correct. Second leg, here, the pivot needs to move. Now what you can do, if the pivot's way off, you can just hit auto first of all, and then hit pivot and then move it to where you absolutely know you want it. So I haven't got my head around any snapping yet, so I'm, using, I'm doing this quite um, uh, manually at the moment. Um, and then we'll go down to the next one, leave pivot on actually, it doesn't really matter. This one's looking like it's correct. Um, just triple check, yes it is. And then the last one down here, and this one's just a little bit off. So pivot again, and we'll bring that up to, oops, make sure you're snapping all the time because you'll get your pivot off if you don't. And that's there. And what that gives you is the ability to go, you can start with the node, and then you can move the leg. You zoom out a little bit, and then you can move down the hierarchy, and you can animate in a, in a sequence like this. So or not, I keep saying animate, and what I mean is pose, because you can't animate as such in this. But that, I, that, that that's cool for certainly for hard surface for robotic stuff like this. This is pretty, you know, it's pretty good, um, pretty useful. What I do like is that you can take that node and you can just um, uh, basically come onto here and clone it, and it uh, and, and it clones the node, which is one, you know, I don't think it's that useful if I'm honest, but. If you, let me just go back to where we were. I went a little bit inside it then for some reason. So bring it all the way back. And let's just go try and get a position where I can see it more clearly. Like let's say there, if you node select all the way down and then up here, you've got clone. So you can just literally, or you can instance, which would give you this. Um, in this particular case, I won't use an instance. I'll make a true geometry uh, copy of it. So I'll do clone and bring that along here and then clone again. And what it's done is it's retained the hierarchy. So as you can see here, node, node, like one, 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 one. Now I would rename them normally. Um, and obviously what we need to do is move this third one out to here. But that now means I've got the ability to, oh, the, 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 the pivot is actually off on that one. So I would have to just do a little bit of, um, a little bit of movement of the pivot um, in here. So bring it across, pop it in. Let's just check this previous one. Yeah, same with that one. So let's just bring that in like so. That'll do us for what we want to do here. And then you compose, you know, because you've made it correctly, then you, you know, you, 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 you presuming you've done your, um, all of your hierarchy and you've dropped them all incorrectly, then you can, you know, pivot it, rotate it, um, angle it. Do whatever you'd want to do um, and then you know if that, that pivots wrong at the bottom as you can see but we can soon fix that if we wanted to um, and then also I, I do like the fact that you can just scale down the chain as well so if I'm scaling the the from the base here so I'm actually scaling the node there and that's actually giving me the uh, the change down the chain which is really really cool so I'll just do the second leg a little bit here um, move this one up as well so just get a bit crazy with this one gone a bit too far there let's go rotate that leg out a bit and then with this one we'll rotate it down and then move that leg back out and then that claw so yeah you can get some quite nice dynamic um poses on you know it means you're not doing repetitive stuff over and over again which are quite like there's a few things i haven't worked out yet um you know about posing it what you know like that like making sure that the, the the pivot is in line once you've moved it so for example that seems to be in line now but i have had instances where it goes out of line and it makes it hard to you know pr predict the, the 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 angle but yeah that's uh that's where i i got with it so i'll just quickly show you um how i did this i'll give you a, a couple of minutes time lapse and it'll just show you roughly how i made it 
uh, and then go and have a go. But uh, yeah, you need to join the beta. So look at look for the Nomad Forum uh, online. Um, and I think there might still be ways for you to join the beta. Um, uh, or there is currently at the time of speaking. And then if not, it'll be out in a couple of weeks anyway. I believe it's mid-August 2022. And we're now literally coming into the 1st of August in a couple of days. So yeah, take a look. Um, and that's that's one of the new features that, that, that you're going to love in Nomad 1.66. So it's fairly, if you know Nomad, it's fairly easy to get a grip of this release. Um, and we're, in this video, we're only really looking at scene hierarchy. Um, but again, if you've if you've spent any time with Nomad, you, you'll be very familiar with it. There's no changes that make you, you have to relearn tools. It's just additions and tweaks that make it better to use. So I decided to do one of my, my favorite things to do, which is an insect kind of robot. And I just made this um, the, the back and then the, the, the head and the neck was just pieces repeated. Um, the point being that we can now stack them in a hierarchy, as you saw in the, in the little time lapse there. Then I made this little join for the for the back end. Um, oh, sorry, this is the abdomen. Um, and then I just wanted to make sure that that can be jointed as well so that I could I could angle that. Um, I used a masking tool there and, and I, I, or I split it first. Um, and then just split it out and duplicated it to give me some surface detail. So very quickly, I've got that shape for the body. And then I moved on to this chassis. Um, and the whole point of this video really was the chassis. So it was just to make something that we could use as a mechanical um, jointed segmented piece. So the fact that it was an insect leg is irrelevant. So I just use cylinders, basic shapes, um, just you know, use, use numerical um, uh, ways to, to rotate. So I made sure that everything was snapped exactly to the front or the side and 90 degree rotations. So lots of repeats, lots of, um, uh, lots of pieces that I just kept there at the bottom and then used over and over again. And of course, like, like with a lot of these things, would change the materials. So made some of it reflective, some of it like a rubber, and some of it, you know, different types of metal. But what I'm doing all the time here is I'm just thinking about how each piece is going to pivot and where that pivot's going to be. So if there, there is a joint um, and then the next piece comes, you know, off that, then I need to be really clear where that will angle, you know, from. And, and that's how you make the segmented, um, uh, the, you know, the, the fact that it's like an insect leg. So you're always thinking where the joints would be on an insect leg. Um, and I grouped everything as well. So um, I, I just use what used to be called simple merge um, and it's now just called join. So it basically joins everything without welding it and voxel merging it. Um, so you can see it's up there on the left on the top of the interface and you just join things together now, which I find uh, it, it's more simple. It's much more simple than it, uh, or not not much more simple, but it, it, it's a more logical approach to it. So I added a light just to make sure you could, you know, you could start to see some of this reflective metal. Again, you, you, you know, you choose whether you want to do that yourselves. But this is how quick it is just to kind of bash out this kind of mechanical arm. Um, and it, and it you know it came together quite quickly. It's not mechanically accurate. I wasn't after that with this job. It was this was just to learn the scene hierarchy. As you can see on the side, I've kept everything in a sequence and then dropped a parent, um, a new child below a parent as I model it. So once I've done this little, little um, claw, that would just become the the child of the one before it. Um, and then once the leg was done, it was pretty easy just to put it all back together, made sure the floor was, um, you know, the, 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 the legs were on the bottom of the floor or dead onto the floor. And then I used that duplicate that I talked about at the start of the video. So I just basically cloned it and I cloned it having, having selected all the parts so that I get them, um, or, you know, each leg then becomes uh, one set. And that's it really. That, that, that then gave me the ability to go in and start playing with... Um, the layout of the legs. I just duplicated the the whole thing. I didn't take any time over that. I just literally copied the whole assembly, and then I started just going through each of the legs and just seeing what I could do with it and what sort of shapes I could I could I could get out of the the, the creature e e even at this quite rudimentary level. So it, you know I didn't I didn't do wings on it for for the moment um, simply because I was just trying to learn this scene hierarchy. Uh, and what I didn't use it for, which I probably will do in the next video or, or upcoming videos, is use it just for grouping. 
So, uh, you know, I, I used it for a hierarchy so I could do this kind of posing that you're seeing on screen now. So the ability to turn the head, turn the body, and it all follows down the chain, that, that makes it a really useful tool alone, um, certainly for dynamic posing like this. Um, and obviously what I'd done is I'd saved the version before I did this. I used a duplicate or another copy of the leg assembly for the antenna. Um, and then just, just made another copy of that to, to give me a bit of visual interest on the front of the creature. Um, and then that, that started to look cool quite quickly. So overall, as a, as a design, it was it's definitely benefited from these new features in 1.66. So it's well worth going and having a look at Stefan's website. So have a look for Nomad Sculpt and see if you can get access to the beta yourself um, and try some of these features. I hope you're enjoying these videos and if you are please give them a thumbs up because it does help us to get in front of other people who might like this kind of content and if you're happy enough to give us a thumbs up then why not give us a subscribe as well and you can join us as we make new content which is every week.